Over the weekend, I informed the Prime Minister and the President of the Liberal Party that I won't be seeking re-election as a Member of Parliament for Ottawa Centre whenever the election happens. It was a difficult decision, but it's the right one for me and my family, and it's the right time to make it. Like many Canadians, living through COVID-19 over a very long year made me step back and reflect on what matters to me most. It's quite simple. Two things, my kids and climate change. I hope that my community here knows that I've done everything I could to fight for them. I will be forever grateful that you took a chance on me many years ago. Being the first woman elected to represent Ottawa Centre has been the honour of my life. I put 100% of my heart and soul into this job every day I've done it. I feel proud of what we've accomplished and lucky to have been part of it. From important things for our community, like this great footbridge behind us, and electrifying our entire bus fleet, to essential things for our country and our planet, like leadership in the fight against climate change and building the infrastructure for the future we want. That means historic investments in public transit, in active transportation, in natural infrastructure, and it means embarking on Canada's first national infrastructure assessment. We need to make sure that every decision we make drives us to net zero emissions by 2050. As the late Gord Downey said, he was a committed environmentalist, I'll remind you, there's no dress rehearsal. This is our life. In this spirit, I want to say three things in closing. First, for all the climate change conversations I've had in all the fancy rooms I've had them in, the most instructive classroom has been in the natural world. If I forget everything else about my life in politics, I'll always remember being out in our amazing nature with incredible Indigenous peoples who generously shared their land and their traditional knowledge with me. Second, I say this to my team and to the many kind people who have reached out about the political environment. And I say it especially to the young girls out there who are thinking about politics and about whether it's for them. Do it! And when you do it, don't be afraid to run like a girl. And I'll be there cheering you on. Third and finally, I want to thank you, the many many people who have supported me and what we're trying to do to build a better country. I'm sure my kids are hiding, but this one is for you. And most of all, I want to thank my kids. I love you. And I couldn't be prouder of you. You have been on this incredible journey with me every single step of the way, on good days and on tougher ones. And you have always reminded me that the decisions we make are about your future and that of your generation. And that means climate and social justice need to be reflected every single time. As for me, I'm looking forward to the summer. Lots of time with my kids and all the McKenna's. Lots of swimming in the Great Lakes. Lots of writing. And lots of thinking about my next chapter. But I can tell you one thing for sure, I will be 100% focused on climate change. I'm proud of what we've done here in Canada, but there is so much more to do. And I look forward to contributing to the efforts as a mom, as a private citizen, and as a Canadian. Thank you. Merci.